Hey buddies, Sumnuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this mod highlight, we're going to show you a mod called Planting Plus. Planting Plus allows you to plant all of the plants in the game, not just the limited number that the Valheim default game allows you to plant. We're talking berry bushes, mushrooms, uh, birch tea trees, ancient trees, oak trees. Um, the trees need to be, you obviously need to have collected the seeds and I can't spawn them via spawn command because I'm not sure of the spawn IDs for them because they've been added by the mod. Um, but you can find those seeds just like you would find any other normal tree seed. Um, the mod can be configured via the config uh, manager, which is basically an additional mod that you can install. I put a link in the description below on how you can install the config manager, which essentially gives you this in-game menu to, uh, to manipulate your mods. Or you can do it by the config files, which I'll also show you. But into the, into the mod itself. So just like you would plant anything else, you pull out your cultivator and you select what you want to plant. The bushes, the, these things are kind of a bit of an investment at first because it takes 10 berries to plant a berry bush and they only deliver one at a time and it takes, you know, a couple of days for them to refresh. So it's a bit of an investment, but as I said, you can modify these settings through the config settings. Uh, I'll show you in a sec. But yeah, you plant them just like you'd plant anything else. Berry bushes, you're going to select it and you can plant these happy days. And blueberry bushes mushrooms and yellow mushrooms thistles now the thistles and dandelions are worried me at first because when you when you pick them up they just completely disappear now they do respawn this essentially what you created here is like a spawning location for the thistle so i'll pick up the thistle here and it disappears, so it looks like there's nothing left there, but in that location there is a spawner, so the thistles will regrow. Obviously, like a bush, the bush just acts normally, where the bush will stay there, and so it's obvious that that's gonna regrow. These will regrow, don't you worry. And that's essentially it. You can now plant everything in the game. Happy days. Now, how do we modify these? Through the config settings, through the config files, we can uh, we can access these for our Valheim folder, go to Bepinex, go to config, and then you have all of your uh, config files for your individual mods. This one will be com.bkeys93.plantingplus. You can go in there, and it does look a little bit confusing at first. If you're going in here, you may well have an idea as what to do in here already. But the simplest way to look at it is to look at, hey, pickable resources can only be planted on cultivated ground. So this is false, so I can plant them anywhere. However, if I wanted them to only be planted on cultivated ground, I can change this false value to true. And uh, you can kind of go through these and it kind of make sense. You know, a number of raspberries required to place raspberry bush. The default is 10, like I just talked about. But if we wanted to reduce that, we can make it any number that we wanted to there. Just change that, that number, save it, restart your game, and you'll be good to go. If you want to do it via the in-game config manager, which you can install via the video that I've taught you how to install that in the description below, it's even simpler. You go to planting plus as your options, and all of the options are here. Mushroom cost five, there will be a berry cost around here, raspberry cost ten, and you can manipulate all of the settings for that in here just to make it a little bit nice and easier for yourself. And that is the planting plus mod, guys. It's a really cool mod, and I think you should have been able to plant these things in the first place anyway, but now with this mod, you can. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I've been streaming uh, five days a week at the moment. We'll back to seven days sometime in the future, but while I'm focusing on creating these YouTube videos, five days a week, every day, except Monday and Friday, and we go live at one o'clock UK time. It would be awesome to see some of you guys there. Regardless, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.